Hi, welcome to the AVCA Video Tip of the Week sponsored by Volleyball One on One. I'm the owner of Volleyball One on One and I'm super excited to have Dan Fisher here, the new pit coach. Welcome. Thanks for having me. Okay, we're featuring uh, Dan. Dan is an incredible coach. He just finished two years at Concordia, going 75 and two. NAIA Coach of the Year in 2011 and had an undefeated season, 38 and 0 last year, this past year, 2012 and they won the national championship. And why I wanted to highlight Dan was he does some incredible things, not just with how he connects with his players, but what he does in limited time in terms of warm up. You want to tell us a little bit more about that, Dan? Yeah, so it, it, a lot of this stuff comes from just having limited gym time. And so rather than jogging in circles for an, a half an hour, <laughs> we, we tried to come up with, with as many drills as we could where we got on the ball quick and it was game-like. So um, this is one of them that uh, gets the kids going pretty fast and they get a lot of quality reps. We're gonna have uh, 10 to 12 of these drills over at volleyball101.com forward slash Dan Fisher that we're super excited about. What I really like about this is how game-like it is and how quickly the kids are warming up and moving and it's all over the net. So let's get started. So what do we call this drill? Yeah, well, it's a, it's a, we call it 20, <laughs> half court 20, 20, 20, but the number you choose has got to depend on your level. So we're going to do 14, 14, 14 here. Um, and so it's a, we're going to pass that tip, we're going, to, we're going to do some down balls, and then we're going to jump and hit. And it's all got to be controlled. You've got to get through the each, each 16 before you can move on to the next. Okay. So it's, it's, it's tough enough where you need some focus. Um, but hopefully it's easy enough where it's, it's attainable. And that's a great drill because it focuses on not only underhand ball control, but also overhand ball control. What I also really like about it is all the players right away are digging, setting. Mm -hmm. You'll see them as an incredible setting. And then they're working on their shots. So they're working on their tip shot, something that's often not practiced enough. Yeah. Okay, so you want to show let's us? Let's go to it. Okay, so guys, you're going to stay for four and then rotate. So let's start with the pass set tip. Make sure you're bending your knees on the first contact setting the ball high, and let's make sure we tip up and over the block. Ready? Let's go. So count them out. There's one. Nice job. Take the first one with your forearms, and we're setting them with this one. Guys, let's start over. Hold up, hold up. Let's start over. Okay? Remember, this one's on the net, right? So let's set on the net. Okay. We're about three feet off the net. Good. Nice job up and over the block. Play the first ball to the long oh, no. oh, we got to get to 16 here. Ready? There's one. Count them out, guys. Here's two. Count them out. Four. There you go. Here's four. Nice job. Here's five. Good job, guys. Set nice and high. Get your feet to the ball. Tip up and over the ball. We're thinking about tipping at the peak of our jump, or maybe even a little bit on the way up. If we tip on the way down, we're going to have a tendency to tip in the block. You got to eight, we're probably switching at this point, right? Yeah. Okay, you going to switch yet? Oh, should we switch? Good job. Okay, nice job, guys. I don't know where we're at because I lost count when I was talking. 11, 12. 12, up and over the 13. block. Oh, 13. Working up and over the block. Over the block. Up. There you go. See the set first? No, oh, this one's going to be better. 16, that's it. Okay, 16. Hold up, guys. Nice. Everyone, round of applause over there. Let's give it a okay. So they made it through the 16. So now the next thing I'm going to ask them to do is the same sequence, but with a down ball. So now we're setting the ball 8, 9, 10 feet off the net, and we're going to we're going to back up and play defense a little deeper. Okay, so now we're, war we're, we're warming up our arms a little bit here. Dan, can I just add one thing? Um, obviously, change the number based upon the number, uh, the quality or skill level of the players. And also, notice you, you're always talking about high contact and over the block. Is that correct? Correct. Okay. So, great. yeah, I mean, great verbal cues. Uh, yeah, as, as coaches, we don't spend enough time talking about tipping. We get in a game and then we get mad when we see a tip out or tip into the block. <laughs> but so, uh, I think we need to focus a little bit on it. Not a lot, but just a drill like this is enough to get the message across. Perfect. So you guys ready for down balls? Okay. Let's go. Count them out, guys. Nice and easy. This is you nice and easy. Warm the arm up. One. Nice job, guys. There's two. Okay. Keep counting them out, guys. Three. Everybody. Four. Nice job. Five. 
Okay, set nice and high. Watch it, watch it. Okay. And then at eight here, you guys will switch, right? Keep the ball going. Okay. So then switch, we'll, we'll pretend like you're still going. Still on the ground in this one. Still on the ground. Count them out. Make sure we're, we're ready to play deep before the hitter hits the ball. You got to get down a little bit deeper. Get deep. There we go. Wow. Okay. You want to keep going until you get Let's move on to the next one. Okay. So that they would, if if the ball dropped at any moment in that drill, I would make them start over in that 16 sequence. Okay. Okay. Once they've gotten through the first two rounds, then we're going to jumping and hitting now. Same concept. 16 in a row, okay? Let's go, guys. Make sure we're nice and deep. We're set on defense before the attack and contact the ball. Nice job. There's one. A little bit more straight up and down with that set. Try to catch the ball. Three, is that three? Yeah. yeah. I like to count. That's four. Okay, get there, get back to hit, talk to each other. Nice. Five, good job. Six, good job, guys. Seven. Okay, we'd be switching after this, right? Eight. Eight, yeah, nice job. Nine. Okay, get there, nice set. And coach. Ten. That's good. Got you made it to eleven. Not bad. First time I moved. Thanks for helping, guys. Good job. Thanks for helping. That was great. Good job. So there's a few things I just want to highlight about this. You know, one, you can go straight into this. Even yeah. if the kids haven't warmed up their shoulders, they're getting the practice. Is that correct? Right. And we will go right into this cold. And, and you know, in general, when I'm doing 20, 20, 28 with the college team, well, I give them seven and a half minutes to get it done. Okay. okay. So if they don't get it done in that time, then... Yeah, then, then and you also vary it based upon the skill level. So your no middles question. might be a little lower la and, and yeah, I have a, for the libero setters and outsides the ball control standard is much higher because they play in the back row. So um, yeah, it, and we not only do we vary it by by position, but we do it by time of the year too. Maybe preseason we start with 15, and by the end of the year hopefully we're doing a little better. Okay. So I hope you enjoyed this. There are some other incredible videos by Dan Fisher at Volleyball One on One. Some of the stuff I really like is obviously some of the ways he warms up his players. We were fortunate to film a full practice one week before uh, the NAIA championships, as well as how he connects and communicates with his players is something unique that I'm super impressed by. So I uh, hope this was helpful. Uh, thank you the ABCA for having us and I uh, hope to, you get to see some more videos by Dan Fisher soon.